Yeah, Utkarsh, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, so, Utkarsh, can we go for mock interview now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of Native Mumbai. So, before I ask you uh, questions, Utkarsh, I want you to introduce yourself to us. Okay, sir. Uh, I am Utkarsh Sharma from Delhi. Uh, my mother is a government servant working in MHRD, and my father works in Luminous Power Technologies as a senior manager. I have an elder brother. I did my schooling from my native place only, and for my undergraduate degree, I've done it from uh, Sonipat, Haryana. Uh, my final year project, sir, it was from machining background only, uh, named uh, minimum quantity lubrication, for which we were praised uh, even by our HOD. Uh, apart from my academics, I have experience uh, in from participating in many musical events to even managing them. Uh, I have software skills of AutoCAD and CATIA and have desire to learn even some programming languages in near future. Okay. So you want to uh, learn some programming, right? Yes, sir. So, but uh, why then you you should have gone for technical domain, no? Why you are coming to Nitty then managerial domain? No, sir. Uh, it will be just uh, addition to my profile. I think uh, in the era of computers, uh, the branches like robotics and mechatronics are emerging so fast. So we cannot deny the importance of computers. So uh, I think it is uh, just natural that every engineer should know some basic computing. You know, so what background you are from, sir? Engineering background. So mechanical. Okay, so mechanical background, may, don't you think you will do really good if you go into robotics and mechatronics and these kind of domains rather than coming to PGDIE or something like that? No, sir. It will be like uh, if I take the example of machine learning. Sir, it is related to comp uh, computer science, but uh, its application is in the field in everywhere. Like uh, when you see your mobile phone, the facial rec recognition software, it works on machine learning, sir. So it has application uh, in each field. So you cannot say that uh, you should go in this field only. So application is in every field. Okay. So Udgash, tell me why you want to join NITI for that matter now? Uh, sir, uh, it has uh, 57 uh, years of experience. Uh, very strong uh, alumni base, which would be really great if we connect to them. Uh, moreover, sir, it has locational advantage uh, like mumbai is financial capital and uh, sir uh, i've heard from my seniors that december is off in the curriculum so one gets very ample uh, opportunities of uh, winter internships and sir most important thing is that uh, you get uh, very ample exposures of case studies with real industrial data so I think if you are getting this much industrial exposure, even while studying in the campus, so it is really amazing, sir. So what to Utkarsh kisi bhi B school mein toh mil jayega? No, sir. Uh, it is. I've said it for Niti only. No, B how? That is what I'm asking you. Whatever Niti is offering, that is offered by other B schools also, no? Or can you say that whatever NIT is offering, it is not being offered uh, in IAMS or some another uh, reputed B school? Okay. So why NIT only? That is my question. Uh, uh, I have no idea. Yes. Okay. Uh, Utkarsh, can you tell me what is your gate score or gate rank? Sir, uh, my gate score is 794. My gate rank is 738. Okay. And uh, with this uh, gate score and rank, uh, what do you expect? Are you applying for PSUs also? Uh, no, sir. You're not applying for PSU. Why? Sir, uh, I don't uh, think I would be suitable there. Sir, uh, I have no uh, problem in working hard. I think uh, uh, once uh, you go there, uh, you won't be recognized for your work very much. So I want an environment where I can learn and even uh, because of that, I can grow. Okay. So Utkarsh, uh, tell me, uh, uh, what uh, job profile do you see yourself after uh, you graduate from ET? Okay. Uh, sir, 
Yo tú para él. Uh, no, sir. No job profile? You don't see any job profile for you? <laughs> you want to do job or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So no job profile do you see? आपने कितने कोर्सेज में अप्लाई किया है सर आई अप्लाइड इन ऑल थ्री कोर्सेज ऑल थ्री कोर्सेज यस सर ओके व्हाट यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग सर इट इज ब्रांच इन व्हिच यू गेट टू लर्न अबाउट इंडस्ट्रियल इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग क्या होता है इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग कैन यू डिफाइन इंडस्ट्री फॉर मी व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इंडस्ट्री यस सर इंडस्ट्री इज समथिंग विच है विच हैज आउटपुट ऑफ यू कैन से आउटपुट कैन बी अ प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस ओके एन एग्जाम्पल सर कैन यू से एजुकेशन इज इंडस्ट्री यस सर एंड हेल्थ health no sir health is not industry sir medicine industry you can say hospitals chain of hospitals yes sir yes sir they are not industries yes sir it is okay okay uh, can you tell me what is the meaning of uh, project project okay sir uh, project is short lived uh, like uh, if you uh, take example of uh, delhi metro once it is being uh, built it is a project it comprises of all the proce- uh, processes one has to do uh, to complete it and after it 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 will become a product okay and uh, uh, what type of resources you know there are different types of resources do you know some types of resources uh, in what sir the resources what do you understand by resources so uh, like manpower manpower is the only resource no uh, no it is not only the only resource uh, type of resources it will be okay how many different like, types of resources we have sir in which regard are you speaking I mean resource hota hai na kuch jaise machine man power material resource kisi bhi industry ko yes, chalane yes, ke liye resources are required no yes 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 sir so how man power is different from other type of resources sir uh sir i don't know sorry no idea i don't know no, okay sir. acha uh, can you tell me one thing what do you understand by entrepreneurship uh, no sir I'm have you heard about this word yes sir entrepreneurship yes sir yes sir. you don't know what is the meaning of this sir i cannot put it in words exactly okay so uh, what was your btech final year project sir it was a minimum quantity litigation uh, can you elaborate on that yes sir uh, uh basically we can divide uh, the machining process in three parts on the basis of the method of lubrication that we provide okay the first is uh, the flooded type of lubrication uh, which we normally see in industries second is dry cutting in which we do not provide any lubrication and third uh, type is uh, when we provide mist form of lubrication only on the uh, you can say on the part where work piece interacts with the job okay so uh, in this project we developed this type of uh, lubrication system uh, actually sir uh, around 16% of uh, manufacturing cost machining cost comes from comes from lubrication only okay this much type of uh, this much large quantity of lubricants are used so the aim was to re- reduce this cost hence uh, making the environment eco friendly for the workers and sir uh, then uh, at last when we developed this setup uh, we performed turning operation on lathe uh, and then we checked for uh, surface roughness uh, in all three machining parts right we uh, 
turned using dry cutting then flood lubrication and on the third work piece we did this um turning operation using uh, our setup and a reading shot showed that uh, the surface roughness value of minimum quantity lubrication system was around 2.1 micrometer and the surface roughness that we got using flood lubrication it was around 2.3 micrometer so okay, it so was comparable what is on the solid lubricant yes sir what is solid lubricant solid lubricant have you heard yes sir yes sir like graphite sir mm-hmm. it is solid, solid lubricant mm mm-hmm. yes sir and so, uh, teflon mm mm-hmm. they are solid lubricant where are they used sir in bearings in some of the bearings they are used what do you mean by self lubricating surfaces self lubricating surfaces yeah uh sir i have read about it but i cannot recall properly okay so you are not having any idea about this huh? okay uh, so no. first let me give you your feedback here uh okay, see, i start with the introduction introduction okay. aapka theek tha shuru mein you started well uh, lekin end mein aapne usko domain pe khatam kiya i think software seekhna chahte ho aap kuch cad cam vagera ke that is okay. where you ended it up huh? yes yes so sir. again wahi question aayega ki agar technical domain hi tumhe karna hai to niti kyu aa rahe ho to mere hisab se usko thoda sa change karo don't end it up there okay 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 kyunki that will shows your inclination for uh, technical domain rather than uh, managerial domain जी सर सर तो नीटी क्यों ज्वाइन करना है स्टिल यू कुड नॉट आंसर इट वेल नीटी मैंने बहुत से इंटरव्यूज में भी एक्सप्लेन किया नीटी क्यों ज्वाइन करना उसमें यू नीड टू बी वेरी मेटिकुलस कि नीटी एक ग्रेट लर्निंग सेंटर है सर और मैंने टेक्निकल तैयारी की थी गेट की तो नीटी इंजीनियर्स को ही लेता है एंड आई एम वेरी श्योर के यू लर्न अलॉन्ग विद मैनेजरियल स्किल्स यू लर्न टेक्निकल डोमेन ऑल्सो हेयर एंड दैट इज माई इंक्लिनेशन सो आई हैव इंक्लिनेशन बोथ फॉर टेक्निकल डोमेन एज वेल एज लर्निंग मैनेजरियल स्किल्स इसलिए नीट इज द बेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर मी अनलाइक आई एम्स वेयर मे बी यू आर ओनली इन टू जेनरिक मैनेजरियल डोमेन्स लाइक मार्केटिंग फाइनेंस आई वॉन्ट टू बीन टेक्निकल एंड मैनेजरियल डोमेन्स समथिंग लाइक दैट यू कैन गिव आंसर पब्लिक सेक्टर में आपने नहीं अप्लाई करना है इसका स्ट्रॉन्ग रीजन आपके पास होना चाहिए अदरवाइज ये डिस ऑनेस्ट आंसर लगेगा यू नीट टू वेरी गुड के वाई यू डोंट वॉन्ट पी एस यू ओके ओके वट आफ्टर जॉब प्रोफाइल आपको मैंने पूछा कि इसके बाद जॉब का कौन सा प्रोफाइल जाना चाहते हैं स्टार्टेड लाफिंग यू नो दैट इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी वेरी डेरोगेटरी तो अगर आप लाफिंग कर रहे होगे ना तो टेलीफोनिक इंटरव्यू चलेगा तो वो आपके नंबर इमीजिएटली जीरो हो जाएंगे यू शुड नॉट लाफ एक्चुअली राइट इट शुड नॉट लुक लाइक यू आर नॉट गेटिंग आंसर एंड देन यू आर लाफिंग इफ समथिंग ह्यूमरस कम अप यू कैन लाफ दैट इज अपरेट स्टोरी बट इफ समथिंग ह्यूमरस इज नॉट देयर एंड स्टिल यू आर लाफिंग दैट इज नॉट गुड ओके ओके इंडस्ट्री क्या होता है तो यू कुड नॉट आंसर दिस आल्सो वेरी वेल इंडस्ट्री क्या है ये कुछ टर्मिनोलॉजीज है विच यू शुड नो दैट इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग तो ये टर्म्स आपको पता होना चाहिए प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट मटेरियल मैनेजमेंट इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग दिस टर्म्स यू शुड नो टाइप ऑफ रिसोर्सेज मैंने आपसे पूछा था तो जैसे आपके पास एम 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 याद रखना मैन मटीरियल मशीन मनी ये कुछ रिसोर्सेज होते हैं जो वेंचर के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट होते हैं एंड एंटरप्रनरशिप एंटरप्रनरशिप इज नथिंग बट सर स्टार्टिंग सम वेंचर इज कॉल्ड एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप एंटरप्राइज से ये वर्ड शायद रिलेटेड है कि मेरे को नया वेंचर स्टार्ट करना है दैट इज कॉल्ड एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप स्टार्टिंग समथिंग ऑफ ओन दैट इज एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप यू नो द थिंग्स यू कैन एक्सप्लेन इट पता नहीं क्यों आपने इसका आंसर नहीं दिया अदरवाइज यू नो द थिंग्स बीटेक प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में मैंने पूछा तो थोड़ा सा बीटेक प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में प्रोबेबिलिटी होता है कि ही माइट आस्क यू अबाउट द बीटेक प्रोजेक्ट ऑल्सो तो वो थोड़ा सा पढ़ के जाना कहां कहां इसका यूज होगा सॉलिड लुब्रिकेंट के बारे में मैंने पूछा तो वो आंसर आपको यू कुड गिव दैट पर्टिकुलर आंसर दिस इज हाउ यू कुड गिव तो मेरे हिसाब से आपका जो ओवरऑल इंटरव्यू रहा ना इसमें बहुत सी ऐसी चीजें मैंने सिंपल पूछी जो आप आंसर कर सकते थे लेकिन आपने डिक्लाइन कर दिया आंसर करने से तो yes. वो आपके लिए थोड़ा सा उत्कर्ष एक सीरियस है मतलब ये इंप्रूवमेंट की स्कोप है आपको काफी ज्यादा सो जस्ट रिवाइज एन और बाकी स्टूडेंट्स का भी इंटरव्यू सुनते रहो जो मॉक इंटरव्यू हम डाल रहे हैं कीप लिस्निंग दैट एंड थिंक हाउ यू आर टू गो फॉर इट ओके सर फाइन सो वर्क ऑन दिस प्रॉपरली फाइन उत्कर्ष Yes. And anything you want to ask or say? No, no, sir. So revise it well, and then next mock may show some improvements, huh? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, first thing.